Howdy. Well, I've been busy today. Uh, <laughs> I went out to the local city and I went to every gun shop I knew of, every single one of them, looking for one thing in particular. Uh, this. When I went to Sportsman's Warehouse, it's a sort of like Cabela's. It's a chain like that. Uh, they had a lineup at the gun counter for uh, to purchase, and you had to take a chit to get a number. And when I saw it, the, the number that the guy in front of me had in line was 98. I said, I'm not sticking around for that. I just looked in all the shelves and I asked one guy, I said, excuse me, you, do you have any of these? And he said, no. So I went to another gun store and I asked, no. And I went to another and no. Every one I went to was mobbed. <clears throat> so I came back out to my little hick town because I looked at one there. Well, I bought it. This is the last available in the state of Oregon, 1911. It's a Springfield Armory. These are made in, in Israel. They're parkerized. This is brand new. Uh, <clears throat> it comes in a case, you know, with, with the, uh, the mandatory gun lock and a couple of magazines. Oh, and this funny uh, holster thing. I don't think I'll use that. Uh, but it's a nice case, you know. I could use it for holding a camera, for instance. Anyway, it's a, a typical uh, 1911. Boy, this thing is hard to get things in and out of. And I've noticed something. That is a beautiful trigger on this thing. Just beautiful. And <clears throat> it's just... Just a really nice gun. I, I think I'll have to put about, about a thousand rounds through it to make it, uh, uh, you know, usable, <laughs> as it were. But um, it's got a, now let's see, get, get that cocked and locked. Yep. Yeah, that works. And it's got a uh, magazine safety, it looks like. That's not good. Oh, come on now. Oh, that's this because it's the safety. Let's see if it's uh, if it's got a magazine safety. Nope, just the safety. Okay. Excellent. Well, I always wanted a 1911, and the one thing I didn't have in my collection was a 1911. Well, the one thing in my collection I now have is a 1911. So there. <clears throat> in case you didn't know. <clears throat> Oregon just passed this thing, Measure 114. It's supposed to take effect on December 8th. And everybody in Oregon realizes that December 8th is like the uh, put-up-or-shut-up date for doing anything in terms of guns. So if you want a gun in this state, you better uh, go out and buy one now. Well, all of the, the uh, gun stores I've, I've been to, and today is the middle of the, of the week. It's not even a weekend. Everything I've been to in my local area has been absolutely mobbed. You're going to have to get a, a permit to buy ammo. Well, it's not a big problem for me because I hand load and I've got, well, I've got ample supply. Let's put it that way. But uh, uh, most normal people and most poor folk are going to be in really bad shape because, well, this is going to, I just uh, put this on my credit card. And next month, it's going to hurt bad. But to heck with it. I have to do it now because the government has proved to be fools. You know, when law becomes unjust, just men break laws. Well, <clears throat> this is not breaking any law today. But uh, these, these were not that popular recently because uh, it's only eight rounds. Uh, they have a 10-round magazine limit in the state. Oh, oh, by the way, I bought myself a new AR magazine while I was at it, because uh, when I went to Sportsman's Warehouse, they had a, had a wheelbarrow over there loaded with uh, uh, pro mags in it and, and, and magpoles and a few others. And it was just hilarious. Uh, guys were just over there grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. So I said, I'll, I'll take one of those. It was only 12 bucks. So I bought one. You know, it's just insane. This whole thing is insane. You know, folks like me 
are never going to commit a crime. I'm, I'm nothing more than just a collector of weird uh, uh, firearms memorabilia or, or uh, firearms uh, from, from history. And I'm, I really find that a fascinating, interesting hobby. And I also like shooting, and I like cleaning them, and I like uh, everything to do with them. And they're, they're, the laws that they're passing, because they're idiots, affect people like me. And dang it, this is the only right we have that's, that's that, a right. It's in the Constitution. I mean, there's no constitutional right to, to purple hair or uh, uh, trans surgery or uh, even driving. But there is to this. And by gum, I will fight to the death to protect this right. And the, the, the guns that I have are mine. <clears throat> Ain't nobody else's. I, I worked hard all my life, and the money I've made, if I want to spend it on this, that's my business. And by gum, I'm going to do what I need to do. Anyway, that's the way I feel about it.